Welcome back to Felicity's Driver Training. I'm Fliss, AKA the Trailer Lady. And today we're gonna to show you how you reverse a caravan onto a pitch. Let me just quickly run through it before we actually do it. In simplest of terms, you want to steer a full lock away from the pitch. And then once the straight line of the caravan and car have been broken, you want to return your wheels to straight. That will then push the caravan round the corner onto the pitch because the, it'll be the hitch pushing the caravan round. Once the caravan's pointing in the general direction we want it to go to, we're then going to steer full lock towards the pitch or imagine you're reversing the car on, on its own. Which way would you steer? Or following on from my uh, straight line uh, tutorial, my straight line video, where is the problem? And wherever the problem is, i.e. wherever there's too much caravan, that's the way you steer. Now it's what resonates with you. So they're the three sayings that I use. They all give the same answer, okay? So we're gonna start, we're gonna do the right reverse for you. Um, and funnily enough, left is exactly the same, just everything is opposite. But we're gonna focus on the right reverse today. So let's start. I've got Andy as my willing volunteer here. So Andy, when you're ready, let's pop the vehicle into reverse. Handbrake off and we will steer full lock away from the pitch. The pitch is on this side, so we're steering full lock away. You can see that the wheel is now turning. The caravan and car are now broken. The straight line is broken. So could you return to your wheels to straight for me? Feels like two turns of the steering wheel, folks, just to give you a little tip there. Now, that caravan is starting to turn around that corner now. It's going really nicely. And we're letting that come round. Now, you never want it to be 100%. You never want the caravan to be pointing onto the pitch perfectly because that's too late. The caravan will have turned too much. So this is like trying to control a very active two-year-old. You've got to be three, four steps ahead of it, okay? So we're going to let the caravan go a little bit further before we put our corrective steer in. So Andy, when you're ready, let's push back a bit more. Okay, hold it there. Now that to me is about the right kind of distance we want. The caravan is pointing onto the pitch, but it's not perfectly on it yet. So now I'd like you, Andy, to steer full lock towards the pitch. Or imagine you was reversing the car on, on its own. Okay, now, hold it there again for me. Now, what you'll see here is the caravan is just starting to veer off course. We want it parallel to this grass verge and it's just starting to veer off course a little bit. So to make the caravan turn again, Andy's gonna return his wheels to straight and reverse back a tiny bit more. And that's going to make that caravan start to turn again. Hold it there. And again, it's now pointing in the general direction, but it's still not parallel with that grass. Now, the reason we have to be two or three steps ahead of this is because you're asking these wheels to turn, but it's actually the back of the caravan that is doing the turning. So there is a time delay between putting the input in and getting the result at the end. So that's why you've got to be a few steps ahead. So Andy, now when we move, we're going to steer full lock towards the pitch, or if I asked you where the problem was, the problem's in this mirror, so we would steer this way. And the bigger the problem, the bigger the steer. That's what's relating in to requiring the full lock steer. And now what we're doing is we're hanging on to this wheel in that position until this car and caravan are straight again. So Andy, you tell me when it's straight. straight now. Good, straighten those wheels back up and just push back. Hold it there for me. Now, whenever you do any reversing with anything that's got a brake on it, a caravan or a trailer or anything like that, the last manoeuvre must always be a pull forward. And what that does is it re-engages the overrun brakes and it pulls out the drawbar. So that rubbery concertina bit that's on your hitch, 
you need to expand that so that you can uncouple properly. So Andy, if you would kindly just bring it forward that little bit and hold it there. Okay. There is a good chance that these things will go off course. They won't go according to plan. So we're now going to show you how you fix it. So Andy, just push back for me. So this is what happens if you leave the caravan until it's 100% square on its pitch. Okay, so now Andy, we're going to steer full lock to this mirror to bring that caravan round. I think I've overcooked it now. Okay, so stop there. So you can see this caravan has come round on itself and we've turned it too tightly. So we are going to take a shunt. There's no shame in a shunt. We are going to take a shunt and that's going to straighten all of this out for you. So it is opposite lock, opposite direction, opposite lock, opposite direction. Okay, so you do it twice. Takes you forward, returns you backwards. Okay, so Andy, if you would, opposite lock from the way you are. What I'd like you to do is just pull forward. Never perfectly straight though. You still want a kink in the unit. So pull forward till it's not quite there. Keep going, a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, there. So what we've done is we've pulled it out far enough forward that actually when we reverse, we've got that little buffer of space we need because we're sending the message from here and we want the back of the caravan to react. So now, opposite lock again. And just before you go back opposite direction, I bet there's people watching this going, oh, you're dry steering, you're dry steering. Wherever possible, try and move before you steer. However, we're on a campsite with not a lot of space. So I won't use my usual term because it's probably not broadcastable, but what you do is when you are in a small space, that is the time to dry steer. And you'll get an, an instant reaction from the caravan and get you out of trouble and you won't upset the people that are pitched opposite you. So, Andy, you've already done the full lock. Now take it back. So it was opposite lock, opposite direction. And as that caravan starts to straighten up, you start to straighten your wheels. That's it. And then using the straight line principles that we did earlier, just straighten that up onto its pitch and stop there. And then another reminder, last maneuver when you've been going backwards with a caravan or a trailer is always a pull forward. It re-engages the overrun brakes and it pulls out the drawbar on the hitch. So Andy, if you could just pull forward for me. Wonderful. And hold it there. So, thank you for watching. I hope that was useful for you. If you've got any questions or observations, please pop them in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. See you later.